This video is going to cover two vocab words that go hand in hand. You can't really talk about an identity without talking about an inverse as well. So, an additive identity and a multiplicative identity. It's the same thing. They're both an identity, but this word right here, additive or multiplicative, um, just kind of tells you if you're dealing with adding or multiplying. But the idea behind an identity is what can I add to something or multiply if you're doing that so that your answer doesn't change. So let's say I had, I was started out, my answer was five. I wanted to know five, if I was doing add, five plus what? It still gives me five. What won't change my answer? And it turns out that five plus zero is five. If you add zero to something, it doesn't change. So the additive identity is zero, because when you add zero to something, it doesn't change. Let's say we wanted to multiply right now instead. What can I multiply by so my answer doesn't change? Well, zero doesn't work anymore because five times zero is going to give me a zero. But five times one still gets me a five. So one is the multiplicative identity when you're dealing with just ordinary numbers. If you add zero, nothing changes. If you multiply by one, nothing will change. This takes us to our second vocab word, an inverse. And the idea of an inverse is talking about what can I add or multiply to cancel out whatever I had so all I have left is the identity. Taking my example of 5 again, what can I add to 5 so that I get the identity for adding, which was 0? So what will cancel out that 5, basically? Turns out if you add a negative 5, you get 0. If I started out with a negative 2.1, I'd have to add a positive 2.1 to get 0. So the additive inverse is just the opposite of your number. The opposite of whatever you started with. For multiplying, when we're talking about a multi multiplicative inverse, we want to know what can we multiply by to give us 1 for our answer. So if I start with a 5, 5 times what equals 1? And it may take a little bit more thought to come up with this one, but it turns out that 5 times 1 over 5, if you just do the reciprocal, you're going to get 1 when you multiply, because this is 5 over 1, you just get 5 over 5, which equals 1. If I had 2 thirds, for example, and I wanted to figure out what I had to multiply by, 2 thirds times 3 over 2, I get 6 over 6, which is 1. So the multiplicative inverse is the reciprocal of whatever number you have. And that kind of works just fine when we're dealing with numbers. But in this chapter, we're going to talk about these words, identity and inverse, with a matrix. And I'm going to introduce that with adding in this video. We'll probably talk about multiplying in class before we discuss it on video. But I want to just show you one quick thing here related to that. Let's talk about um, additive. Let's go with an additive inverse. Well, now let's just go with additive identity for this. So additive identity for matrices. Let's just say I had a random matrix here. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I want to know, what can I add to that? What's the identity that I can add? So my answer doesn't change. So I still get one, two, three, four, five, six. What would I have to add here? And it turns out the additive identity is not bad to do at all. If I want to add something and still get this answer, these need to be zeros. So this is like a matrix that has all zeros is called a zero matrix. And that's going to be your additive identity. We'll talk about the multipli multiplicative in identity in class because it's kind of a, it takes a little bit of thought to come up with. And I want you guys to figure it out for yourself instead of me just telling you. But the additive identity is not bad at all. 